all of that takes a back seat to the breaking news that has come out in the last half an hour that Manchester City are suing the Premier League for damages over the allegations made against them. The Premier League wants an end to the associated party transaction law that they've been accused of cheating. Their claim is it's unlawful based on the Competitions Act. They're looking for support from other Premier League teams. The hearing starts in 10 days. But this is an unprecedented move that could change the landscape of English football forever. But Man City sue the Premier League, which we'll throw out. They are 120th of. So they are kind of suing themselves at the same time. But LB, I want to go to you first, mate. Obviously, your club... The hearing against your allegations starts in 10 days' time and City have dropped this bomb in by suing the Premier League. Yeah, it's wild, man. As City, City fan base, we've been asking what's, what are City going to do uh, about this situation because obviously like City obviously not happy with, with the whole rules. And if you've read, the, I don't know if everyone's had time to read the article because it has obviously only just dropped, but there are some there are some heavy statements in there from, from, from City. You know, City feel that like these rules are a direct target towards clubs that are owned um, by owners in, in the Gulf states. So basically he's looking at City and, and, and Newcastle there as well. I mean, we all know the rules that came in place back in sort of January time. It was effectively, the, you know, part, so some of it was, well, I don't know when it, I don't know when it came in actually, but, you know, they don't want clubs to have these sponsorship deals, do they, with associated parties and, and City are obviously challenging it and think it's unlawful. Is it unlawful? I don't know because I'm not a lawyer, but you know, there's a lot of money being spent on it. I'm seeing here that apparently the um, the Premier League legal bill has gone up 300% in the last 12 months. That's their legal costs. So obviously, this is this is this is popping off. This huge news here. Um, we've also got news leaked that this 115 charges, which are separate to what's going to happen next week, uh, starts in November and will run for six weeks. That is separate, though, as much as the article does does talk about it, it is, it is it is a separate thing. So at the moment, bro, just sort of like City feel like what these rules are are unlawful. And if City feel that they're unlawful rules, City have the right to challenge them. Now, whether or not City are going to be, you know, get, get, get the go-ahead and say, you are right, these rules are unlawful, don't know. That's up for the lawyers to decide. But if City feel that they're unlawful, City got the right to challenge them. There are some stuff in, in, the, in the article that I don't know how City would win the case. Like this... Part of the, what they're challenging is um, they're trying to overturn the, you know, how to make a rule change. You need 14 clubs to agree to it. City yeah. are saying that that is, that is, that's not right. They want to overturn that. I don't know how, I mean, again, I'm not a lawyer, but just from like a, just a layman's point of view, I don't know how you're going to be able to win that because at the end of the day, the clubs vote for it. Like that, 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 that they are the rules. But in terms of these, these associated party transactions, we're going to find out who's right. And City lawyers, right? City is saying that it's, uh, that it's unlawful. The Premier League is saying that it is lawful. It's up to the lawyers to, to fight it out and say, well, what, what is encouraging in there? It says there are a couple of clubs that are, that are back in City, a couple of clubs that think that your City will win. There are a lot of clubs that are back in the Premier League. I don't know. What I will say, this is just a complete mess, by the way. This whole thing just brings the Premier League into such a, such a messy situation. And now we just have to wait to see. I guess the good news is, unlike the 115, we're going to find out quite quickly. Because this hearing starts next Monday and it lasts two weeks. And the 115 wait for years. So, well, yeah, I mean, obviously, but this is part of why the 115 has taken so long. I know City fans don't like hearing this, but it's factually true. The reason it's taken this long is because City have, City have been directly responsible for delaying it. And they're trying to delay it again now because if they can get it passed in a court of law, the, the rules that they're, they've essentially been charged for breaking are unlawful then their case will collapse. If you can you get one, you know, if I'm up for, if I'm on a charge for anything and then I take that, I take the law to court, the government to court and say, this law is ridiculous. And the, the judge rules and the country says, yeah, actually that rule shouldn't have ever stood. You're not then going to go to prison because it's, you've won that case. So I, I get what city you're doing. The city are very much, I mean, I do and I don't. It's if you've got unequivocal evidence that you've done nothing wrong, which Caldoun has said, he's made that statement on a couple of occasions that they are innocent and they have not broke these rules. They haven't broke the rules. They're one of the wealthiest clubs in the world without breaking the rules. 
They're winning everything without breaking the rules. The rules haven't stopped City from becoming one of the most powerful clubs in the world. Why get the rule changed if you haven't broke the law? Well, the rule... City, City is saying, why should a third party decide how much a sponsorship value is worth? So I, I, I understand that claim, but you've got to remember Man City, along with all the other clubs, voted these rules in 10 plus years ago. And at no point up until being charged have they tried to sue the Premier League. So I understand that. It's a fair point and it's a fair cop. But as I, I remember asking you this question many months ago, people say the FFP is designed to stop small clubs becoming big clubs. City say they've got unequivocal, undeniable evidence they didn't cheat against these rules. Whether they like the rules or not, they said we didn't do it. If you didn't do any of it, these rules haven't stopped you from getting to this side, so I don't understand the claim. Well, that's well, well, that's well, my issue. Well, we don't understand the claim, but what people are saying is, for City to, because City are claiming damages as well, they're not just trying to get the rule changed, they're claiming damages. So if you're claiming damages, that means that it has affected you. Because you've shot, you've got to show a damage. So if that has well, affected yeah, Manchester I mean, City... Reputationally, City, of course, yes. Yeah, City will look at this a sponsorship deal as well, though, Terry. That's what people are saying. It's... It's impacted a sponsorship deal. So it appears that maybe City have had a sponsorship deal done and then the Premier League have said, no, that's too, that, that, that's maybe. Not, not too much. So if, if again, it comes down to believing, should a third party, and this is what City is saying, this third party, I forget the name, but it is in the article. Um, I don't know if you can, you can pull it up. Should a third party be able to dictate what a sponsorship value is? Surely it's up to the company that's sponsoring. To, to decide that. Now, I know you'll get into the things of, well, yeah, but if they if that company has links to the owner or whatever, well... See, I'm, I'm not... Really again, you, you, know my view, you know my views on that, LB. I'm not against it. Never have been. My view is we have to protect football clubs from themselves because of the debts they can run up. Um, question here from Peter says, Man City did not vote for the FFP, Terry. Uh, well, there's no FFP in England. It's profit and sustainability rules. So City didn't... Maybe Z City voted against it but City have agreed to be part of the Premier League. When you're part of the Premier League, you are agreeing to the rules of the 14-club the vote rule. So they have signed up to these rules and these laws. City could have left. City did not need to be part of the Premier League. They have chosen to be. And that is a choice that they have made. Same as us three in here are YouTubers. We choose to comply with uh, YouTube's rules and regulations. It's as simple as that. We have a choice. We don't need to be YouTubers but we decide that's what we're going to do. So, look, I, City can't just sit here and suddenly say, oh, it's, it, the whole world's always been against us. You've voted and you've taken part. Would they be suing them if they hadn't been charged by the Premier League? I don't know. And I, listen, I'm not surprised the other clubs supporting them. There will be other billionaire owners of clubs. Listen, Man United are owned by Ineos. The people know how wealthy Ineos, the company, are. I'd love Ineos to start pumping a billion pound a year their own money into Manchester United. We'd never have a we'd never have a financial problem ever again. We could build a two hundred thousand seat a stadium, no problems. So again, I'm not against it. I've got very wealthy owners coming into my club as well. But we have to protect people. Uh, Potsy, what what do you make of all of this? Is it how do you see it from a city point of view? Do you see this as a, some people are saying this is an admission of guilt? How do you personally see it? Mm. Wow, I don't know what way do I go with this. Do I look at it as admission of guilt in the respect that you just put it, Terry, which was articulately put? I say so myself. I think I will look at it in that way for some reasons in that, oh, yeah, we kind of have been breaking it. But, well, we think the law is wrong. So we're going to go down that route. Or do they believe they've done absolutely nothing wrong? And they're like, we're going to prove we've done nothing wrong. So we're going to come for you because we've got evidence to prove that we're innocent. And we're going to come for you now and try and sue you and take you for as much as we can. What way is it? We don't know. Um, with Pep Guardiola's future up in the air, with KDB links with Saudi Arabia, a lot of people are going to be saying, yeah, sit here in the mud and this is the start of what's going to be terrible. No more Pep, no more KDB. And uh, they'll be playing Stockport soon. But I think that's a lot of what rival fans are kind of praying and hoping. I really don't think that's going to happen, if I'm honest with you. Nobody knows, man. Nobody actually knows. We can all have an opinion on what we think. We can all have a look at, you know, Hassan will be here. Big up to Hassan, uh, hoping and praying, because I know he's been very, very vocal about Manchester City and 115. I know there's a few other fans that have. The reason I haven't told is because I have not got enough evidence to prove which way it is. I, I don't know enough about the ins and outs of it. And if I'm honest with you, I'm much more, my interest forms more on what's happening on the pitch as opposed to the whole 115 thing. But there's a lot of people that are really in for it. And trust me, if they've done wrong, they should have the book chucked at them. 
but I can't say that they have or haven't. Now, what does this look like from the outside looking in? They better hope that they've done nothing wrong if they're coming out with this statement. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> they better hope now Man City have not gotten anything wrong at all. They better hope they are 100% squeaky clean. Otherwise, they're going to look stupid because <laughs> they're coming to sue the Premier League. And then they're now going to go, oh, actually, we were guilty for one one five now and we've been chucked out of the league and stripped the title, whatever the hell it's going to be. So, mate, how do you look at this one? I mean, I've got to say, from a Man City point of view, if you trust your CEO and you trust the people that are in part of the club that are saying you've done nothing wrong, you'd be chill, relaxed. I can't wait to put everybody in the mud who's been doubting us this is going to go well. If you're not sure, then it might be squeaky bum time. That's all I'm saying. I get I get the, the arguments that LB has put up 100%. My job as a host is to ask questions and, and, and try and dig a bit deeper. I get that they feel, their state and they feel discriminated against. They feel that nobody should be able to dictate what the a third party dictate the valuation of things. But we have to be very careful here of, that happens in every walk of life. So LB, I don't know if you own a house or not, but you, when you go to own a house, the mortgage company agrees to lend you money. You make an offer to the house and then an independent third party comes and values the house and says how much it's really worth so that either you're not overpaying to make sure the mortgage isn't too high for you to make sure there isn't problems there. So there are multiple examples in, in life where a third party completes the valuation of a, of a, of a, of a deal. So I, I think that, again, I just want to be really kind of balanced, but I understand how city feel. And it's just come out here again from the same article that at least one other premier league club has submitted a witness statement in support of Manchester City for next week's arbitration hearing, uh, whilst more than half of the side uh, clubs have sided with the Premier League on this one. And, and look, it's I'm so looking forward to all of these cases, not because the Man United fan in me would kind of like City to be found guilty, I'm not going to lie, but it's more about actually understanding what's going on because the problem that I've had with this all along is that too many people like Hussam have been convinced they're hundred percent guilty. And then you get some individuals that are like, absolutely not. It's a witch hunt where I do actually think looking at this situation, being objective about it. I I've got just a gut feeling reading this article. I've read it twice. Now I'm looking at the snippets for me. There's a bit of an admission of guilt because they want the rule changed that they're now being accused of breaking. Well, but that's now, not, that's not true, though, Terry, because this why? rule was brought in in 2021. And the 115 charges end in 2018. This is a separate thing. This is this is not related. This is associated um, sponsorship deals. And this only came in in 2021 but there, but when, there's when been Newcastle an, were bought. Sorry, but there's been an amendment. So City have been charged with and they've been investigated for things for, that are over a decade old through their owner pumping money into sponsors and then the sponsors paying the club. That's what those emails leaked to rule about. Now there's been amendments and new rules brought in since then, but they're essentially, when you boil them down, they all relate to the same issue, which is clubs having sponsorship deals that are either one, two above market value seen as too lucrative or the company sponsoring you and not actually pumping money into you. Your owner is just siphoning money in from the back door. The again, that was my interpretation of reading these things. So I can see it and why people would say, well, they're trying to get the rules changed for the things they're kind of being accused of. If they can get... though, Terry, that the rules have actually, that have been implemented, have actually benefited Man City. Like for me, Newcastle have come in and they could quite rightly with 400 billion in the bank go, sign, 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 sign. <laughs> and they've stopped that from happening. So Man City, if I'm a City well, fan, I'm going to take off for that. Well, this, We've got this is what everyone else is trying to catch up I, with I, us. I agree.